14 shelters across the city are being used to house migrants. The Rogers Park Super 8 Motel, previously used for homeless men, is the latest facility sheltering new arrival families. The number of buses that we've received since May really makes it challenging to have a finite population because the ball and the goal keeps moving every day. City officials testifying at a city council committee meeting today admit it is challenging to find shelter for the influx of new arrivals. 12,000 have arrived since last August, many since January. Just from January to today, we have seen an increase of 43.5 percent. The city says 68 buses of about 50 people per bus have arrived since January. 60 of those have come since May when Mayor Brandon Johnson took office. Migrants are taken to police stations first with the goal of getting them to a shelter as soon as possible. But some aldermen say the overall plan so is not, not working. We ain't prepared for any more buses. And so what is the plan to say we cannot do it anymore? 20th Ward Alderwoman Jeanette Taylor says there have been several issues at the shelter in her ward. Over 600 migrants are staying at the old Wadsworth Elementary School. And there have been complaints about the lack of security at the Inn of Chicago and Streeterville, where 1,400 migrants are living. Alderman Brendan Riley says while most are obeying shelter rules and city laws, some are not. He says residents reported problems last night. There's a group of 60 kids. Uh, many of them with guns in their waistbands, um, consuming alcohol and marijuana on the public right-of-way, unchecked, and this is not a one-time occurrence. Riley and Taylor are calling for a special city council meeting with all departments present to discuss the plan for migrants. The city says there is definitely room for improvement. We haven't done enough bridge building between the local residents and the people staying in our shelters. And this is, I think, a very significant next step. Aldermen and women are calling on Chicago's congressional delegation to step up. They say they need help pushing the Biden administration to declare the migrant crisis crisis a federal disaster in order to receive more federal money. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.